and I'm back. Hello YouTube and welcome to Heathen Hacks. Today we are going to unbox an MSG EQ7 7-band spectrum analyzer module from DF Robo. Make a simple circuit and get some basic codes that we can use to try it out for our future projects. Let's go! I got this one on Circuit Rocks. The MSG EQ7 or Audio Analyzer module itself. And some included extra wires for connection. Before setting it up, let's do some reading on what it can do and check out the schematic. Okay, it says here that this audio analyzer module features the MSG EQ7 graphic equalizer display filter. You can pause the video to read it or just go to the website. You can just click the link on the description below. Let's see what's on the wiki page. Here are two wiring diagrams. We can either use two sound sensor modules and connect them to the audio analyzer for a live spectrum analysis, I guess. Not sure though. Or to a 3.5mm headphone jack if we want to connect or sync it to some music. And here is the sample code. Now that we have seen the wiring or connection diagram, we can proceed on connecting the wires that we need. Connect this one here, and these two here. We're going to use a headphone jack. How? First, find an extra headphone jack that you can use. It can be connected to an old or broken set of headphones, or on an extra auxiliary cable. It really doesn't matter, as long as the wires are still in good condition. Cut a short portion of it including the jack, unsleeve it to reveal the three wires. Mine has black for ground and green or red for the left or right channels. Strip them to expose the copper wires. Then twist 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 to make sure that there are no loose ones. After that, we need to get 3 male to female jumper cables, then wrap the twisted copper wires from the headphone jack on the male lead of the jumper cables. Then, let's proceed on soldering to make the connections more secure. There you go, the soldering part is done, time to connect the jumper cables to the module. Connect the ground lead of the headphone jack to the negative terminal or post of the module. The right channel lead to the right channel of the module and left channel lead to the left. And that's it. Alrighty, time to do some tests. Get a couple of LEDs, I'm going to use some blues and whites, a couple of 100 ohm resistors, breadboard, a handy dandy pair of tweezers if you have one, an Arduino Uno board, some male to male and female to male jumper cables, our audio analyzer module, 
and of course a 3.5mm audio jack splitter would also be nice. So let's start by connecting the LEDs to our breadboard. We would need a total of 7 LEDs for the 7 band spectrum. I just added more to make it more flashy. Add the resistors and jumper cables needed. Connect the cathodes of the LEDs to the ground rail of the breadboard. Then the anodes to the Arduino. Then, connect the audio analyzer to the Arduino. The link for the schematic and or wiring diagram is in the description below. And we're done. Okay, I'm going to turn off my speakers, then divert or switch my sound output to the headphone port. Now we need to connect the splitter jack to the music source. Connect the module to one of the audio splitter ports. And then connect the headphones to the other splitter port. Open up the code. Let's connect the Arduino to the computer. There you go. Open up the serial plotter to monitor the data. Upload the code. I'm going to open my music source which are some of the beats I have made on my free time. Okay, let's try this one. Hit play. Hmm, I wonder why the module is not picking up any data. Alright, I forgot to connect the Arduino ground to the ground rail of the breadboard. Still no data. Okay, let's try to increase the volume and see what happens. Hey, it's working. Here's a demo showing that the LEDs light up every time the analyzer hits a certain peak level or threshold.
finally, here it is with my failed multiplex LED matrix project. That's all for today guys, thanks for watching and see you again next week.